Good afternoon and welcome to another broadcast of Chicago Dogs Baseball. My name is Aaron Shellen and today the Dogs and the Canaries play the rubber match of their three-game series here from the Birdcage in Sioux Falls. Dogs come into today's action with a record of 11 and 13 after the Bats came alive last night in a 13-2 victory over the Canaries. So before we jump into today's action, let's take a quick look back and look at last night's action. And we are back on the Chicago Dogs pregame show, and it is time for today's starting lineups. We will start with the Sioux Falls Canaries, brought to you by Illinois Bone and Joint, leading off for the 15-10 and 10 Canaries. As always, will be the shortstop, Andrew Ely. In right field, batting second will be Logan Landon. Batting third, the American Association's leading hitter, Ale Lago, who comes in with a lofty 404 batting average on the air. Batting cleanup will be the designated hitter today, Clint Coulter. In the five hole will be the catcher, Mike Hart. Batting sixth and playing second base will be Grant K. Out in left field, batting seventh, Ryan Brett. In the eight hole, playing third will be Ryan Long, and in center field will be KC Huth in the nine spot. You'll notice that that the Canaries are missing a couple of bats in their lineup from Friday night. Both Jabari Henry and, and Dominic Tomshay are out with injuries. Henry is day-to-day -day with a hamstring injury, and Tom Shea is out with a wrist injury. So dogs catch a break there as two of the big bats in this Sioux Falls lineup are out with day-to-day -day injuries. And now the starting lineups for your Chicago Dogs brought to you by Vienna Beef. Leading off in playing center field is Michael Kraus in the number two hole, the third baseman today, Blake Aleman. Batting third and at your and at designated hitter today is Joey Turdoslovic. Batting fourth and and playing first base, K.C. Hobson. Batting fifth, the shortstop, Tyler Ladendorf. The red-hot Tyler Ladendorf. Batting sixth and playing right field is Victor Roach. Batting seventh today and getting a start at second base is Harrison Smith as Edwin Arroyo is given the day off. Batting eighth and playing left field is Brett Malazzo. And in the nine hole, playing a second game in a row behind the plate, the catcher Garrett Hope and Hope will be catching again the veteran Eddie Butler. Butler still looking for his first win of the season here for the dogs and my Hyundai key to the game today is I'm just going to parrot what Butch said and, and Eddie's got to keep the ball down. If he can keep the ball down he can, he can give his infield plenty of work keep them busy keep uh, keep Sioux Falls in the ballpark as once again the wind is blowing out to right field and we've seen some fireworks here the last couple of nights as as the ball carries really really well out to right and right center field specifically right center field here in Sioux Falls and if Eddie can keep the ball down and keep keep the Canaries from getting the ball up into that breeze uh, he can have some success today but if he elevates that sinker we could be in store for some additional fireworks. And these two teams have played some wild games this season. They played that 17 to 14, 12 inning game back at Impact Field. And then I don't have to tell you guys about Friday night here in Sioux Falls when the Dogs went into the ninth inning trailing 9-1, put up a 10 spot to take an 11-9 lead and ended up falling in that one 12 to 11 in 11 innings. So last night, Dogs put up 13 more runs. So the offense is clicking here for the dogs they just need the offense or the they need the pitching staff to to kind of match suit here and, and last night they got an excellent start out of thomas dormany who went the first six giving up only two runs so eddie butler looking to follow up one good start by thomas dormany with another today we are just a few minutes here from the first pitch it is beautiful day here in Sioux Falls. We had a beautiful weekend for baseball. 75 degrees and mostly sunny right now in Sioux Falls and we're expected to see nothing but sunshine for the rest of the night. And we are now going to go over and uh, go over and do the national anthem. So we'll be right back. OPS. So he's getting it done both average wise and power wise. 0-1 pitch. That one's hit out to center field, way back at the wall, and gone. Michael Kraus does it again. Lead off home run, second pitch of the game. Dogs lead this one 
one nothing, and Butch is uh, so far not not terrible Butch's. results. Here comes the one one pitch. That one's hit high and deep to left field. You can forget about this one. Michael Kraus hits that one a country mile. Second home run of the game. Dogs lead it three nothing. Michael Kraus absolutely that ball on hit the ground. It was fire. fair game. So. 1-0 pitch to land, and that one's hit out to left center field. Back and gone. Logan Landon clears the left center field wall, and we are all tied at three in the second inning. Lago takes off. Here comes the throw down to second, and he comes in high with the cleats on the second baseman, Harrison Smith, and he is out. Lago now is getting in the face of Michael Krause, attempts to... Th Fane's throwing his helmet at him and is immediately thrown out of the game. The bases or the dugouts are clearing here on both sides as that is probably the end of the game for Eli Lago as he came in cleats really high on Harrison Smith and then Michael Krause came in from center field, said something to Lago. Lago cocked his arm like he was about to throw his helmet but cooler heads prevail here so we are through three, and Aaron is not fooling these dogs hitters today. So four and a third innings, seven hits, four runs, a couple of home runs, and some really, really hard hit baseballs that have either been long singles or line drive outs. 0-1 pitch to Ladendorf. That one's hitting the left field. That one's going to get down for a base hit. Butch is waving in Tardoslavic. Here comes the throw to the plate, and Tardoslavic is going to be safe. Beautiful slide by Joey Tardoslavic as he avoids the tag at the plate. He comes around to score. Hobson goes to third. Ladendorf goes to second on the throw, and the Dogs have retaken the lead. It's 4-3. 0-1-2 Harrison. That one's hit high out into center field. Back on it goes Huth. Huth looks up, and that one is gone. Harrison Smith off the scoreboard in right center field, and the Dogs have taken a four-run lead here. It is 7-3. to three. Is ready. For Harrison Smith. Glove up high, down to his chest, 1-2 pitch. That one's hit high and deep out to right field. Roach turns and watches that one go, and the Canaries lead it. 8-7, two-run home run by Mike Hart. Ready for the 1-0 the pitch, and he hits that one into right center field. That one's going to get down for a base hit. Aleman comes around third. He's going to score. Tardoslavic hustles over to third, slides in safely, and the Dogs have tied this one at eight on the RBI single by K.C. Hobson. Wall, it got in between the defenders, but he was able to slide as Victor Roach hits the first pitch out to right center field. Huth turns around, and you can forget about that one. Victor Roach goes to right center field, and it's just a shooting gallery in this ballpark. That one clears everything in right center field, and for Victor Roach, that's home run number eight. The dogs are now back up by four. So many base runners and so many opportunities in this one. It feels like they should have an eight or nine run lead right now, but they don't. The Canaries just kept battling back. They have an opportunity to tie it here. Ely lines that one into right field for a base hit. Huth will stop at second, and this one is tied at 12. Andrew Ely lines a base hit into right field. Victor hits that one high out to right field. Way back and gone. Victor Roach, first pitch swinging, hits it over the right field fence. His second home run of the game, and the Dogs have jumped out to a quick 13-12 lead here in the top of the 10th in inning. So Fargo, 1-2 pitch from Helsebeck. That one's hit out to left field right at Malazzo. He's there. He puts it away, and the Chicago Dogs have taken two out of three from the Sioux Falls Canaries. They win this one 14-12. We will be right back with...